If you've followed me for a while, you know that I don't have an in-ground irrigation system installed for my lawn. A few years ago, I created my own DIY irrigation system with some Rainbird sprinkler heads on spikes and some digital water timers. This allowed me to semi-automate my lawn irrigation without having to move sprinklers all the time, and it was a real time saver for me. I've been working with Lumery for a while now, and I've been very pleased with their smart lighting solutions for my house. I was very excited when they reached out wanting me to test out their brand new Wi-Fi solar powered four zone watering timer. In this video, we're going to discuss the features of this unit and show you how to install it and use it. So stay tuned. If you don't have an automated irrigation setup, you can likely relate to how much of a pain it is to remember to move around sprinklers. The more of a hassle that it is, the less likely that you are to do it, which will result in your lawn suffering, especially when we get into the heat and drought of the summer months. Digital water timers are great, but they do require more user interaction to help them function as intended. I had to physically go outside to turn the unit on to activate watering schedules and change times manually to ensure it was ready to go. I also had to ensure that the AA batteries in my timers were charged or change them out to make sure I always had a charge so that the irrigation schedules would function as I wanted them to. I was thrilled to learn that not only is this Lumery timer solar powered, but it also gives me the ability to control it via Wi-Fi anywhere from the Lumery app on my phone. Gone are the days of having to go out to the spigot on the house and adjust my old digital water timers to make sure things would get watered in the lawn. Let's take a moment to discuss the key features of this unit. This is the world's first Wi-Fi solar powered four zone sprinkler timer. The solar panel is adjustable to 90 degrees, but will charge without direct sunlight, making it easy to install this on a hose bib on the side of your house that doesn't get hammered with sun all day. It also has a charger port in case you need to charge it out of the box, but a charging cable is not included. It can charge fully in ambient light within three hours, and with daily solar charging, it always ensures your unit is powered and ready to handle those watering tasks with no issues. There are four independent watering zones, allowing you more adjustability to use the system for a variety of different watering tasks without changing hoses. This hooks up to a 2.4G Wi-Fi network and is controllable from anywhere in the Lumery app on Android or iOS. It features an IP65 weatherproof design to sustain the weather, rain or shine. Lumery does note that this timer should not be used in temperatures below 34 degrees Fahrenheit. The timer is designed to handle up to 115 PSI water pressure. Lumery noted that the product has a lifespan of 50,000 hours of use. It has the ability to monitor water usage and time for each zone to give you real-time data on how much each zone has ran and how many gallons it's used. You also have the ability to receive real-time push notifications on usage tasks, keeping you informed all the time. Now that we know more about this Lumery watering timer, let's go over the installation and how to set it up on your Lumery app on your smartphone. And if you're finding this video helpful so far, please hit that like button. Thanks. Now once we take this timer out of the box, the first step is going to be waking it up. When Lumery ships these from the factory, they do put them in sleep mode so the battery doesn't drain during shipment. To wake the unit up, you're going to want to hold down the zone one button for at least five seconds until you have a solid light come on, as you can see here under that zone one button. Now once this happens, the unit is awake and if it doesn't wake up, you can also uh, lift the charging pad and put your USB charging cable in here to charge it for a while or set it out in the sun to charge to make sure the battery comes on and then you can wake it up. Now once your unit is awake, you're gonna wanna go to the app store on your smartphone and download the Lumery app. If you've already had Lumery products in the past, you can enter the app and add your device as you normally would do it. If you're new to Lumery, you're going to want to follow the prompts to create an account once you download the app. Once your app is installed and ready to go, you'll want to ensure that your Bluetooth is enabled on your phone and that your phone is connected to the 2.4G Wi-Fi network that you plan to connect the timer to. Additionally, you're going to want to hold down that Zone 1 button on the timer until it starts flashing, which means it's in pairing mode and ready to connect to the app. Once this occurs, the timer should be found in our app and you'll be able to add it to your home screen of devices within the app. The image of the unit defaults to the product image, but you can change the name of the device and upload a photo in the app of the device to help you identify it easier as I've done here. Now, after I get the timer installed and found on my Lumery app, I'm gonna make sure that I go through and turn each zone on and off manually. Now, you probably can't hear this on the video. It's a very uh, low volume click. But when you hold the button on and off, you'll hear a click of the zone opening and a click of the zone closing. I went ahead and, or went ahead and did that for each zone just to make sure that the unit was functional. 
everything was ready to go before putting on on the house. Now the next step is I have a quick connect here or a, a on off. I just like to use these so I can use the timer in this not required. You can hook it straight onto the hose bib um, if you want. But what I did is I used a little bit of the plumber's tape, attached the unit onto here. Now I will say that these are three quarter inch hookups. So this is gonna fit a standard hose bib and um, standard hoses. So you shouldn't have any problems with that. So we get this attached. I will say I did use channel locks to kind of make sure these connections were tight on here, but the hose is affixed easily. This zone I don't currently have hooked up because it goes out past the sidewalk. So I only hook it up when I need it. But these are three zones that I leave on all the time. Um, and then once that's good to go, we'll make sure that's on and we'll turn on our water and then we'll get this thing rocking. So once we're in the Lumery app here, uh, as you can see down at the bottom of the screen, I have the front and rear controller. So we'll just click into the front controller here. Now going over a few things, um, I'm gonna click the zone two here and we will just turn on this. We'll click the on button here on the screen and you can see that our sprinkler will come on. Now alternatively, I hit the off button, it will turn off. Now I will go over some features here. We'll turn it on um, and you can just see uh, the last time ran in the upper left hand corner. It'll tell you the last time it ran, the end time of that run job, what your battery is, the weather. You'll see all three of your, or all four of your zones here. Now something cool about this also is, as you can see in the bottom left, it'll tell you how long the sprinkler has been on for and how many gallons are pumping out of that sprinkler or hose, whatever you're using. So you can see we've been on for about 30 seconds here and we're about two and a quarter gallons. Um, and then easy as when you want to shut it off, we just click off and things will shut down again. So it's as simple as that, really cool functionality. As long as you have internet on, you can control all your zones like this and pretty much automate them from that standpoint. So let's go over how to set schedules and timers and go through some of the features that you can do with this unit through the app. So as you can see here on my screen, you have a few things that you can run through. You'll see everything that we went through earlier, each zone that you can click through to set. Um, so this is zone one, you can either set a single watering time that if I want to do it manually, I could also do cycle watering um, so I can mess with different intervals or whatnot. Um, you can also do watering volume. So if you wanted to put down, say, I want 50 gallons on this area, it would run and measure the output gallons that comes out of that um, zone of that sprinkler timer and it would shut off at that point. Um, also, if we go over to timers here, it has a sleep mode. So if you let this thing run, and you don't want it to run for a certain day or a certain time, you can go in here and enable sleep mode and basically pause everything. Or it has a rain delay. So if you have your mode set up, you could say, hey, it rained today. I, I wanna wait uh, waterings for 24, 48, 72 hours. You can also set that up. But this is also the screen where we're gonna go through and set our schedules. So as you can see here, I'm on zone one. You'll wanna do this for each zone. Um, you'll be able to put in at the top uh, your start time. So if you want to happen at, you know, um, whatever time of day you want it to happen. Now this is on the 24 hour military time schedule. Um, they have not released it on the 12 hour time schedule, but you can also go in um, and say, Hey, I want this thing to run at 4 AM. Um, and that's when we'll start and go from there. I want it to water for, um, just say, hey, what duration do you want it to water for? I want it to run for 30 minutes or an hour. Set all that up. You can pick your days of the week. If you want to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or other water days you want to do every day. And once you get all your specifics put in, you can just go down here and hit save. It will save your schedule on your zone. And then that will run on those days as long as the uh, water supply is on. It'll automatically kick on water for that amount of time and then shut off. So you're really automating things very easily, almost like an in-ground irrigation system would, but with the cool feature of being able to change everything on the fly and on the go, no matter where you're at, as long as you have an internet connection through the app on your smartphone, which is pretty amazing. Having used a variety of watering timers over the years from manual to digital and now Wi-Fi, I have to say I'm very impressed with this new Lumery watering timer. My favorite thing about this unit is that I no longer have to go out to the spigot and manually change things when I want to update schedules or tasks. I can accomplish changes anytime, anywhere on my phone, making this so easy to use. I can also leave the water supply on and manually turn on my sprinklers or allow scheduled waterings to run when I'm at work or on vacation. 
This has been a real game changer for me. I also love that I can manually turn the unit on or off with my app or on the unit itself. I found this has been helpful when I want to water in product applications that I put down on the lawn. I can enter each zone and set it to run for 20 minutes to get me a quarter inch down and water the product in without me having to sit outside and babysit the timer. I can leave the house or go inside and finish this task since the app will alert me when the manual timer is done and I can set it to the next zone. The coolest thing about this unit is the historical watering data. I love that it will tell me how long each zone is ran, when it ran, and how many gallons of water went through each zone during each task. This will help me big time to brace my wife for a higher water bill in the summer when I'm keeping the grass green, ensuring that I'll still be around to care for this lawn afterwards. No matter how great the product is, if you've followed me for a while, you know that I always like to keep it real with you and point out things that could be improved and this product is no exception. The first thing that I think could be improved with this is adding that durable metal connector at the top of the unit to the connectors on each zone. The plastic hookups have worked great, but adding this would only enhance the long-term durability of this product, in my opinion. The other improvement is having the ability to change the watering schedule timers from a 24-hour to a 12-hour schedule. Now, I did provide this feedback to Lumery, and it could possibly be updated in a future app release, which would give you an option to use the time format that you best prefer. Now, I can use the 24-hour schedule with no issues, but I'm very used to that 12-hour a.m. p.m. schedule, and it would just make it easier for me to see the zones when they're running and at what times they're uh, scheduled to run for. Neither one of these are a deal breaker for me. They're just some minor improvements that I think could enhance this product even further. I've been really pleased with this unit so far, and I'm excited to see how it works going forward. If you want to learn more about the unit or purchase it for yourself, check the description of this video below for more information. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on future updates on this timer and other great content on the channel. I really appreciate you watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time out in the lawn.